Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. And this is a learn from the lot segment where we critique your brand, especially if we found your brand organically. Welcome in. Name's Loru. Been doing content creation and advertising for the better part of 10 years. My day job is I lead an advertising team, SEO and SEM, all that kind of stuff. So when I see somebody that comes across my desk with good content, I want to check it out. And I want to kind of see what's going on here. So uh, Lixa or Elixa here. I'm not really sure how to pronounce. Please correct me. Um, you know, whoever you, wh whoever knows. I'm going to take the same steps that a brand would do on how to inspect this uh, person's profile. And then we're going to see kind of what I think, what I from a brand perspective would think, and then what you all as content creators can take away from this. So first thing, I found her through TikTok. Great. Link trees right there. I stream seven days a week at 6 p.m. Link, link below. Great. You don't have to have some kind of fancy thing above the fold. That's you stream every day. I'm live. Here's the link tree. Good enough. So we're going to go to all of her profiles and we're going to see. It looks like she has, it says gaming TikTok. That's, that's interesting. We'd have to check out what that is. Business TikTok. Okay. Hey, I'm not, I'm not going to go to Discord. That's the only thing. Cosmetics company. All right. Okay. So let's check out the Twitch first. Looks like she is live. Is this live now? Is live now with Vanguard. Nice. Looks like no face cam. Fine. It's, you don't have to have a face cam. It's totally fine. We're going to pause it. Let's go check out the buttons. Okay. Obviously, if, hey, chat, work with what you got. You know what I'm saying? If a pretty girl, if you're, if you're pretty and you're, and you're throwing out taste, tasteful vibes, I'm all about it, chat. You know, I don't agree with the like very, if you're selling sex on Twitch, I think it's morally wrong. That's my take. You can disagree with me. This is fine. This is, this, she's cute. Let her do what she wants. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about the buttons. Let's check out the Instagram. Okay. So we got 4,300 follows. Still, again, pretty girl, tasteful. This is the kind of stuff the brands want to want to see. UCLA alumna, come say hi, chat. So she's got the same kind of vibe in both things. She got the business I business IG versus personal IG. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, this is what she was talking about. She's got like her own makeup kind of thing. That's sick. Glazed kisses. That's super cool. That's super tight. She got it. Chat, you can do anything you want to do on the internet nowadays, man. That's just incredible. All right, so here's so here's the TikTok we found her on, and she calls this her gaming TikTok. Let's go back to her business TikTok. Is that this one? So the business TikTok is all makeup focused. So she has two TikToks, one that promotes her products that goes right to her website. This is correct. And chat, if you, ladies and gentlemen, if you have some kind of side hustle to Twitch, this is brilliant. I gotta say, this I'm I'm proud of this person. Uh, again, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, Likes Elixa. I'm just proud of you. This is a good looking website. It's just a Shopify website. These are easy to set up. There's a plenty of YouTube tutorials on this. I watch the same in order to get this kind of stuff done. Good looking products. You have entire. This is how you do free marketing, by the way. So good. So I'm I'm getting excited, but let me just keep going through this because I'm, it's I'm, it's good to look at a proper marketer person i'm impressed just good job here let's check out the twitter okay full-time streamer butterfly gotta have i have the emoji after the name as well respect you know it looks like she's running some kind of tournament that's kind of sick streaming bracket for my 44 tourney at 3 p.m for my matches sure sure semis what game i don't know it might be a uh, call of duty that's kind of sick she's got some other stuff tagged so not only is this person on every social media platform like we're talking about well before i give that actually let me go to the let me go to the youtube so ah okay so we found the weak link in the chain but that's okay this is the first person i've seen that i'm gonna tell you don't need the youtube don't need the youtube Alyssa. i can pronounce that so it's probably Alyssa since her name's Alyssa, right so you don't need youtube Alyssa. and those people that are hearing right now know is laura who lost his mind he tells everybody to make youtube not when you have an e-commerce site with a TikTok funneling in free traffic it's incredible chat i'm gonna get retargeted baby so much by this i i betcha wait i have the i have the tools can we see there's Yo, listen, listen, Alyssa, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if my thing's not working right now or not, but I'm I'm going to check right now with my spy software and see I'm a marketer. This is what I do. Do you got tracking pixels? Oh, ah, hurts my heart. Alyssa, listen to me. Listen to me right now, Alyssa. I'm going to tag you in this. You're selling enough through TikTok. Okay. You don't need to run paid ads now, but you want to place your tracking pixels, that's Google Analytics, Facebook ads, Google ads on your website today, today, if you haven't already, because even if you're not gonna run paid ads now, that's fine. You might wanna run them later 
because it's really easy to take a good looking site like this and level it up. If you want, oh, let's hop on a call. I'll show you how to do it for free. I want people to win. That This stuff gets me excited, okay? So easy wins. Chant, let's talk about from a brand perspective. Let's move excited lore to the, to the back for a second, okay? And let's talk about what a brand is gonna see here, okay? A brand, for example, a beauty brand is gonna come in and say, okay, first of all, she's pretty, she's active, she has her own business, so she's entrepreneurial. She has multiple TikToks that clearly understand sales funnels, okay? And she's live every day on Twitch. And when she's live on Twitch, she's literally doing her own tournaments, hosting her own tournaments. The last couple of times I've done Learn From A Lot, and this is not shade, this is just the reality of things. We've found somebody organically that's been posting like PogChamp clips and then we tell them, make YouTube, be active on Twitch, and you're going to make it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have, like, no advice to give Alyssa, Elixa. Sure, I have no advice to give you because you don't need my advice on Twitch, which is something I am rarely saying, okay? You're doing events. You're running tournaments, unique, interesting content. Your Instagram is popping. You're, you have multiple TikToks, multiple Instagrams. You're making content at scale. They're doing it. If you're a content creator and you're watching this video, and if you're live watching this video, this is how it's done. Okay. This is how you do it. You have multiple income streams. That's business, TikTok, business, Instagram, feeding organic views to your product on your website. Okay. You have uh, a unique, interesting content that is this literal tournament that she's running, incredible, that she's probably either playing in or shoutcasting, it doesn't matter which one. You have presence on YouTube, even though you're not exactly using it, that's that's okay, you're still putting out something just to be present, just in case you're still there, and you're active on Twitter, and I just, it's good, it's good. What's The title of this video is gonna be something like, uh, Learn From The Lot, the single best content creator I've found organically, something like that. We're going to have to workshop it with my editors or something, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, Alyssa, get followed. First of all, I'm going to follow you easily on Twitter, easily, because I am just impressed with the business savvy, with the sheer, this is what impressed me the most. I can't believe it. So some things to take away from this, if you're a content creator, okay? You don't need to put all your content out at everything like this person is doing above and beyond that's going to get her found though but we're going to talk about this if you're a brand new content creator all this kind of stuff can get way overwhelming Laura tell me i gotta have two instagrams and two tiktoks youtube twitter twitch no 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 no. listen chat there's two types of content creators okay there's the types that have a day job and there's the types that don't this is clearly her day job okay i guarantee you how this person did this is they started with one or two mediums, and they slowly built up from there. And when stuff became more and more monetized, because this is how you get monetized with products like this, then you can quit the day job and then focus on the brand and then you double down. So if you have a day job and you're seeing all this and it's making you panic because you're like, Laura, I can't manage two social platforms, let alone eight. Pick one more besides Twitch, focus on that, and just become an expert on those. Give yourself time, okay? The second thing I want you to take from this is, my God, has this dispelled the myth of... I'm just gonna go live on Twitch and make it, okay? No wonder that she is, uh, we found her by the way. We found her because she says, I've been streaming on Twitch for about nine months, I think is what she says. And she has an average viewer count of 69 viewers, which got him. She now, as of this stream, has almost hundred viewers because she's hosting a tournament. She's playing the tournament too, it was what it looks like. So it, she's got a heart rate monitor there. That's super interesting. That's chat. If you are a content creator, okay? Just, just, just listen to me. Listen to me right now. If you're a content creator, and seriously, listen to me, all right? And if you're doing nothing but play games on Twitch, there is infinitely more that you can do with your time and energy, and you're going to win the moment you stop just playing games on Twitch. Because, and here's the kicker. The people that are successful on Twitch because they're live all day and they're on LSF and they're getting featured and they're, they might even be a Twitch ambassador. The moment that they sign off of Twitch, they cease to exist in the, in the sphere that is content creation. This person is omnipresent like I am all, like I'd like to be on all the social platforms. So good job, Alyssa, Lixa, I can't, hope I'm pronouncing you right. Uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think. 
I'm just, I finally found a great one. So sub for more. We have a bunch of content creator guys. Enjoy it all. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Thank you.